What would you do if they, if MTV came to you and was like, okay, we're doing Jersey Shore 2.0, kids are going together? Not my kid. <laughs> not my kid, you're not. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's been a year since Jersey Shore star Ronnie Magro became a dad, welcoming daughter Ariana with on again, off again girlfriend Jen Harley in Las Vegas. I'm really excited for everyone to meet the baby. Those are her aunts and uncles. We're gonna be like one big, giant, dysfunctional family. She's so cute. Oh my God. Now the 33-year-old reality star is navigating life as a single dad. Only E.T. was invited into the home he shares with his baby girl for a wide-ranging conversation about co-parenting, overcoming depression, and when he plans to let Ariana see Jersey Shore for herself. So did you design this nursery? No, this was her mom. Where does mom live now? Uh, she has her own house that's close by. Yeah, but this was yeah. the one that you guys brought the baby home to? Yeah, yeah. This so this one. has been Ariana. Yeah, this is her her house. I bought this for her because I was wanted her to just have a home. You have fun dressing her. Me? I I just went shopping for her. Yeah. I actually enjoy buying clothes for her. Yeah. What do you like to pick I out? I bought this today for her. I like oh. a little cute outfits. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever think you'd be picking out cute little girls? No, definitely not. <laughs> you want to go show them your other toys? Let's go look. Come on. Yeah. Were any of these a gift from Every, your housemate? Oh. Uh, Nicole bought her the, the all the balls. <laughs> yeah, she bought him like a hundred balls. I was like, thanks, Nicole, appreciate it. Because <laughs> I just bought her like one, two, like two weeks before. I'm like, oh great, I'll be picking up balls for freaking days at a time. <laughs> but yeah. like, my whole day is just sitting around waiting to see when she's gonna take a nap. <laughs> That's why I'm chasing her around till she's ready to fall asleep. Yeah. And then I get an hour break and we do it all over again. Tell me, how has fatherhood changed you? Uh, fatherhood changed me a lot. I feel like that. It's given me purpose, it's given me meaning that I've done so many different things because of Jersey Shore and things that I've done that I, I couldn't even dream about. Mm -hmm. And you know, this and the feeling you get from that are just like, wow. But the feeling you get from being a father is just, it surpasses that like mm -hmm. so many times, you know? What type of father are you? Me? I feel like I'm like a, a mom father. You know, doing things for myself, it's like, you know, I, I've done so much for myself that I feel like I need to just sacrifice the uh, next couple of years to just, you know, sure. doing what I can to be the best father and be the best role model so that when she does grow up, she could be like, you know, I want a guy that's like my father, mm -hmm. you know? Let's talk about your relationship, though, with her mom. What is the status of your relationship today? Um, you know, right now, she, she's always going to be the mother of my child. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I feel like me and her, we're always going to have love for each other, but I think we're just at a point that, you know, I think we're just trying to figure ourselves out. And, you know, I think right now we're both happier in the situation that we're in, mm. you know, and I have a lot of time to focus on myself and focus on my daughter and focus on work. And I think that right now that's the best place and the mind, best mind state for me to be in, to be honest with you. And tell me about the custody arrangement that you have set up. Um, you know, we, have, we share 50-50 custody. Okay. So you're with, do you do like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, every other weekend? Well, like my schedule is so hectic that okay. we kind of just work with each other and, you know, if I have something to do, she'll watch her. If I'm here, I'll take yeah. her for extra time because I know that I'm gonna be gone for how many days or a week sure. or something like that. How do you plan to kind of address the tumultuous side of your relationship with Ariana? Because she is gonna see it someday. Yeah, She's gonna she see will. the news reports. Um, she can learn this is what I don't wanna do. You know, it's a yeah. great example of like, you know, just do the opposite of what we did. Mm -hmm. You know, and just grow up and know that, you know, people make mistakes and the mistakes they make don't define who they are. Because sure. I want her to also understand that because she's going to make mistakes in her life and I don't want her to think when she makes a mistake that it's the end of the world. Right. You know, she's going to get through and she's going to push through and that things are always going to be okay. How have you and Jen been able to kind of put aside your differences for the sake of Ariana and making this I, a peaceful situation? I think we just got to a point where we just realized that it's not about us anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, it's about her. Yeah. You know, we have to put our feelings aside. We have, she's getting to that age where she can feel if we're in a bad mood. She knows if we're arguing or not. She knows if we're not arguing, if we're not talking. And it's mm -hmm. like, I don't really want to give off that energy to her. You know, it's just right. getting to that age where she's such a happy baby. And right. I don't want to take that from her. I feel like last year was just a lot. You know, the stuff that was going on with the show was just a whirlwind of <laughs> To be honest with you, you know? <laughs> yeah, That's it. really, it was like that money machine, but it was just filled with <laughs> And you're just like, you're like, but you don't want to catch it, so you're swatting it away <laughs> instead of grabbing the money. That's basically what it was like. Did you ever think about quitting? Um, no, you know, it's, I, I can't really blame the show for the things that I did. You know, I still, my actions still were what they were. I still sure. did what I did and that's what it is and I have to own and be a man. You know, I can't yeah. run from my problems because they're always going to be there. You have had a difficult 
year we've seen a lot of it play out um, on TV but how has being a father impacted your choices and your behavior in the last year yeah I feel like before you're a parent and especially in the the lifestyle I live you have to have a mentality of not really caring right so you get to a point where because if you listen to everything somebody says you drive yourself crazy so you get to a point where you don't care and I think that's the point that I was at the last year me and then came my daughter mm -hmm. and then you know I started to realize like it's not about you anymore you right. know it's about the decisions you make that are gonna affect her it's like wow like I have to watch what I do because now I'm you know I'm, I'm in control of this little person's life you know yeah. and it's not just me anymore right now I hear your little girl is right over here yeah, I can hear her should we bring her in <laughs> yeah, to say hi <laughs> would you credit this little one with getting your life on track yeah she definitely is she's my little crazy oh, oh, wow. no. I'm tired Show it off right now. That's all right. Yeah. Do you want to see a new toy? I brought you a present. What's you that? A present? What's this? What's that? What is it? Ooh, it's a narwhal. Lots of pretty colors. Do you like that? Say thank you. Oh my gosh, how much fun is that? So, do you expect to have more babies? Do you want more kids? Honestly, I, I want to just spoil her. Yeah. You know, right now, I just really want to just focus on her and just, yeah. you know, I, I feel like another kid right now would just be a little bit too much. Do you yeah. want me to hold you? I'll hold you. <laughs> Whoa, this chair is sliding. Hi. 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 Hi, I'll hold you, sweet girl. Okay, do you want to help me ask the questions? Yeah, what should we ask next? What do you think? She says, no more babies. I'm the only one. How about this one? What advice, what advice did Uncle Polly and Aunt Snooky and Aunt Jenny give when it was time? Basically, like, uh, Polly just basically told me, you know, like, like I said, every decision that I make, you know, I have to realize that I have a daughter now. Yeah. You know, and a lot of things that you do on TV and a lot of things you say, like, especially our show, it's so popular that eventually she's going to see it. You yeah. Know, and it's, you know, you got to be careful with the way you act and the way you things because it's going to portray to her and then she has to grow up with that. You Absolutely. Know, at the end of the day, she's the one walking around like, that's my dad or that's my mom. So mm -hmm. it's a really, it's a, it's a lot of pressure. Well, let's talk about that. When are you going to let her kind of see what's <coughs> out there? What do you mean? <laughs> well, I mean, listen, we've got the show. We've got years of archival footage yes. of dad being a little crazy. Yes. <laughs> we've got some footage of dad and mom having some crazy times. Yes. There's a lot out there. Um, have you thought, have you and Jen talked about when that, there might be an appropriate time to I, clue like, her in? When she's older, you know, 15, 16. Yeah. But the problem is that there is the internet. Right. You know, so. Parental controls, right? Oh. Parental controls. Yeah. You know? Do you, will you like block the Google search? Oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Sure. Block Google search, canceling cable, only Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> take a nap. Do you want to go take a nap? Ariana's already a natural in front of the cameras, but she still needs a nap. You're such a ham. You are such a. Yeah, because you didn't take a nap earlier, right? Tell me what we can expect in the new season that's coming up. Uh, the new season is basically going to be a lot of the stuff that did happen last year, you know, in the beginning. And then I think, I think towards the end of this is going to be more of the progression of what's going on now. Dina's okay. baby, Nicole having the kid, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm going through right now as a father and stuff like that. So you're still filming? Yes, we're okay. still filming, yes. I'm still young, so I'm going to mm -hmm. do it now. I don't well, want to be doing this when I'm 45, you know. So. Well, no, though? No. No, 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 sure? no, 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 no. Yeah. That's a hard pass? Yeah, yeah, that's a hard no. All right. I feel like MTV might I come back around again. <laughs> I, don't know. I hope not. Like, no, 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 I'm good. I'm changing my number. <laughs> changing my Instagram handle. Yeah. <laughs> so the first two seasons, I gotta be honest, were a lot of like Ronnie having a hard time. Yeah. A lot yeah, of it. It's called the Ronnie Magro family vacation. They call it on. They do. They call the production calls it that. It's <laughs> it's not a good thing. Okay. I think that last season was just. I was just going through a lot of stuff, you know, I had a lot of anger and I was going through a serious case of depression that I didn't even know that I was going through mm -hmm. until I addressed it. And then I was just like, wow, like I'm, you know, like I really have, I have I'm depressed, yeah. you know, like, and I've never felt that before because, you know, so young we got Jersey Shore and it was like, you're on top of the world. And it's like, you have everything and you're meeting all these people and doing all this stuff. And it's like, yeah. what do I have to be depressed about? And then I guess life kind of set in and I didn't realize it. And then I was just like, wow, like, wow, this is like, this is real, you know? And then, mm -hmm. you know, I did when I got help. And I think that was just the best thing for me to just get myself out of 
the toxic situation that I was here, you right. know, whether it was the things I was doing or the things that, you know, Ariana's mom was doing, it was just like I had to kind of just pull myself out and just reset, mm -hmm. you know, and kind of just do as much work as I can on myself and really just be like, you know, life isn't that bad, you right. know, I'm not a victim to life, you know, I have blessings, I have a beautiful daughter, mm -hmm. you know, I have a great job, I have a great support system, so it was like instead of focusing on the one negative thing right. is focus on the 30 positive things. How is everybody supporting Mike? I know that's gonna be a big storyline. He really has changed his life around and he's really become an amazing person, mm -hmm. you know? Just just all the work that he's done on himself and just he's a, so positive to be around. He just gives off this great aura and this yeah. great energy. And like when you're around him, you're just like, I want that. You all want to go see him already. So you guys will see them in the new season if we go to support Mike. And I talk to him through email, you yeah. know, at least once a week or every other week. And we stay in touch, you know, and he's doing great there. He looks good. He's getting his situation back. He's <laughs> Working again. out. Yeah. yeah. He's not BDS anymore. You know, he's, <laughs> he's definitely coming back to the situation. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Look, food, give it to Big Daddy Sitch. You were recently in the news for a procedure that you had done. Yes, I'm trying to avoid the <laughs> it's, it's a real thing. What made you turn to liposuction? Um, honestly, I'd never done any kind of surgery before, and I figured, you know, this my schedule last year was so hectic, and trying to be a dad, and on my other business ventures, and filming, mm -hmm. and, and just trying, it's just, it's a, it's a lot, mm -hmm. you're eating hell, it just becomes a lot of work. And it was just like, you know, I mean, if I could just do a procedure that could kind of help me a little bit, it's like, why not? I feel like women do it all the time. It's like oh, between the mommy Lyco, makeover. lips and uh, cheeks and eyelashes and hair extension and breasts and butt and caps. And it's like, <laughs> and fingernails and eyelashes. Okay, okay. men get the caps I feel like, on too. I, I mean, I feel like I date like, like most girls are like, like the Mr. Potato Head. It's like you just start pulling pieces off of them at a time. It's like. <laughs> you need a different girl, Ronnie. You need some non-Mr. Potato Head girls, I think. How's it been going? I, I understand it was a tough recovery for you. Oh, yeah, it was one of the, the doctors said it's probably one of the worst recoveries he's seen. Really? Yeah. Why? And my body just didn't react well. And like I said, it was the first surgery I've ever gone. I've never broken a bone or had any kind mm -hmm. of surgery, period. So I think my body was just like, what are you doing? It's like, <laughs> what are you doing? Why would you do this to me? It's like, you can't do 30 minutes of cardio. What would you do if your daughter said that she wanted to have a procedure done? Uh, I would just tell her, I don't think so. Found something. More toys? Shocking. How would you say she has saved your life? Wow! There you go. Exactly! Right? <laughs> I feel like she just really made me want to focus on just being a better person, mm -hmm. being a better version of me, whether it was whether it's business or a father or a boyfriend or a husband. It's just just trying to be the best version of myself that I can be. Yeah. You know, just be a great role model for her. Because at the end of the day, you know, she's going to be a daddy's little girl. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I want her to grow up and admire me and look up to me and be proud of, you know, who I am. A dad. Yeah. A dad.